Hi, everybody. This is Joy at Red Pine Quilt Shop. I want to talk you through the process of calculating the size of your fabric strips when you're making flange binding. So to make flange binding, you're going to actually have two strips of fabric. You're going to have a narrow strip and a wider strip, and you will start out by sewing those two fabric strips together. I've put them right sides together, sew them with a quarter inch seam. When you press, you want to press towards the narrower side and then you'll fold it in half and press it just like you would any normal double fold binding. But the tricky thing is figuring out the size of those two strips and that's what I want to show you a quick chart for today. So the first thing you want to do is decide how wide you want your binding to be. You have to add a half inch to that because you're going to sew those two strips together and you'll lose a quarter inch in each seam allowance so a half inch total. That will give you your total before sewing. To calculate the size of your strip, you'll take that total before sewing, divide it by two, add the flange size, and that will equal your large strip size. You'll do the same thing, the total before sewing, divided by two, subtract the flange size to equal your small strip width. So here's a quick chart that I gave you to show you some of the most commonly used flange binding sizes. We're gonna just walk through the first example. Two and a half inch binding, your total before sewing will need to be three to add that half inch for the seam allowance. If I wanna have a quarter inch flange size, I'll take the three, divide it by two, that is an inch and a half, add a quarter inch to it, and I have a one and a three quarters inch that I need to cut my large strip width at. I take the three, divide it by two, equals one and a half, subtract the quarter inch from it, and that will equal my small strip width which is one and a quarter inches. So super easy to do that calculation. You can use that formula to calculate whatever size flange binding you want to make. So you can make wide binding, narrow binding, wider flange, narrower flanges. The sky's the limit, it's totally up to you. And you can use the calculation to figure out your sizes to cut your strips at. So that's how to make flange binding. Thanks for joining us.